like I did. We got married on a Monday, and I've been working ever since. Every week down at the Ford plant, but now they're shutting down. Goddamn Reagan's in the White House, and nobody gives a damn. Double digit unemployment, TVA shutting soon. And over there in Huntsville, they're putting people on the moon. So I'm Back in uh, January of 2018, and uh, we were uh, we were working our way cross country. Uh, we had our dear friend Lily Hyde out on the road with us, opening, and uh, it was a, a cool tour. And uh, we had played in uh, we played in in, in uh, South Dakota. In January, it was like below zero. It was so cold at uh, Sioux Falls, and uh, uh, 
a friend of mine who lives there, he wanted to take me to see the falls. And I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> the falls are outside. No. But he did. And um, it was, um, they weren't falling. They were just standing very, very erect. And um, and then we drove the next day. We had a two day, uh, two day, we had a day off to get to Missoula, Montana. And uh, if you're touring in a bus, about every so often, about every 12 hours of driving, 10 to 12 hours, the bus driver is legally required to pull over and hopefully sleep if you're lucky. And uh, uh, either that or, you know, get some crank <laughs> to tow the rest of the journey. But uh, so we ended up on the on an off ramp just outside of Gillette, Wyoming, and uh, for about 12 hours. And um, we were at a Holiday Inn Express, and it was like melting snow everywhere. You know, for if snow had been there for about five or six days, and it was kind of black and gross. And uh, we were at a Holiday Inn Express, and we were all starving. We were going to go eat at a Mexican restaurant right down the street. So uh, it's like, well, everybody check in your rooms, meet in, you know, 15 minutes, and go find some, you know, three-star Mexican, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, which, you know, actually is not that bad. I mean, three-star Mexican, it's all right. You don't want three-star sushi, but three-star Mexican is pretty all right. But um, in Gillette, Wyoming, you want it. So uh, so I walked out of the motel room, and I could see our bus across the really dismal-looking parking lot. And up, just above it was this giant billboard that said the Oasis Tanning Salon. And uh, I don't know why some things cause songs to happen and some things don't but that thing did and the song's called 21st Century USA The parking lot behind Oasis Tan Down the street from the Mexican Restaurant behind the Auto Zone the place is hawking payday loans. There's a Kmart and a KFC, a fitness center and an Applebee's, Wells Fargo and a Taco John's, a good time bar to get your bad swerve on. In a town that's named for razor blades, all American. Chinese made folks working hard for shrinking pay 21st century USA Out I 90 we might see you pass We got coal and methane gas We got jobs where the work is hard Stores to max out your credit cards In a town that ain't nowhere near Just like every town everywhere Folks working hard for shrinking pay You say we have to hang on Seem enough 
calloused hearts make even love seem tough. Prescription pills to make the pain hurt less until your calloused heart just needs a rest. Get your children and your hope and pray. They can conjure up a better day. No one remembers how we got that way. century USA Twenty first century USA Thank you. This is like the I think the fourth time I've left my house in eight or nine months. I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, at any rate, it's really great to be here in this beautiful room. And uh, so I really appreciate them for inviting me and uh, appreciate all of y'all inviting me into your homes too. So, uh, so uh, uh, my band, Draw By Truckers, we put out a brand new record on uh, the last day of January. Uh, this year, which seems like years and years and years ago. It was called The Unraveling, and our plan was to spend all year on tour, touring behind that record. We had like, you know, well over a hundred shows booked, and um, and then we all know what happened to that, and um, so um, it didn't happen. But uh, for some crazy reason, we decided to do another record so that we could have two brand new albums that we can't tour behind. <laughs> So, uh, so um, pleased to announce to anybody that don't already know, uh, we have a brand new record, a brand new, brand new record called The New OK. And um, it uh, came out about a month ago. It's going to be out on vinyl in December because uh, that's the quickest we could get the fuckers pressed and manufactured. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of it. I, I, I'm, I'm proud of how it turned out. Hopefully in the next year or so we'll get to go out and start playing some of it live on the road. But in the meantime, there's things like this. And so I'm glad to be here because it's better than nothing. And uh, so I'm going to do the title cut off that, off that album. It's the new OK. And it was um, it and the song I opened with, Watching the Orange Clouds, were both inspired by the protest and then the federal occupation that occurred in, in beautiful Portland, Oregon this summer. And... Um, um, so this is the title cut and, and uh, we also have a video for it out that uh, is well worth checking out um, whether you like the song or not it's pretty, pretty a little remarkable piece of film that I'm, I'm pretty proud to have out there and uh, so uh, this is the new okay
He did what he had to do to get Southern boys to vote for you. Crazy rules to get you in the door. But he must have said some things that made him think that he was strange. Made them wonder if he was one of them. So they had to call him.
crash down, crash down on the highway. Plastic cross and plastic bouquet. Paramedics in the bystanders gaze. Get it up. 
up your ass with your useless thoughts and prayers. Glory, hallelujah, you are in our thoughts and prayers. Glory, hallelujah, you are in our thoughts and prayers. Glory, hallelujah, you are in Y'all, it's been a crazy week, and uh, I just had to say that. <laughs> I know it really don't even need to be said, but uh, it has been a crazy week, and um, I'm going to play y'all a song I wrote about it. Uh, wife Rebecca uh, had this wonderful Uncle Bob and uh, he used to say tremendous all the time that was his big word everything's tremendous how are you doing today tremendous and he's such a lovely wonderful wonderful soul and um, so it's 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 made us really sad in our family to see that word sullied so these last few years so I uh, wrote this song for Rebecca's Uncle Bob and um, and uh, also for Rebecca and my family, the kids, and uh, for our dear friends, uh, Jen and Eric also, because we're taking back tremendous motherfuckers. <laughs>
like here. 